Hi there and welcome to Hearthside. My name is Michelle. I'm the author of this blog. Um, I've been going through a bunch of my old posts and trying to make them more accessible by making them into videos. Um, however, I have gotten to a point where this particular entry is not really possible for me to make a video for a bit. So I'm just going to like make you aware of the fact that it's out there and basically what it is is I um there used to be a list of heathen groups um within Canada that was on Wikipedia now Wikipedia does not like to have lists of things I guess it's against their policy or whatever but the way that heathen groups were making their selves known to other Canadian heathens was on the Wikipedia page. They were like linking at the bottom to their own web pages or Facebook or whatever they happen to have. Um, but at some point, one of the mods on there got on there and decided that they had a problem with that and started to erase all that stuff. I tried to have a discussion with them, as did a couple other people, and Basically, it was determined that it was against Wikipedia's policy. So I went through all of the changes and stuff, found all of those links that were there, and I compiled them into a list. Um, and the problem with this list was lots of kindreds and groups and of different kinds within Canada had added themselves to this list over the years, but not updated if their links changed or if they basically became a defunct group, then their link was there, but there was nothing attached to it anymore because they didn't exist anymore. Um, so no one was really showing uh, what was an actual group and what wasn't, so you could go there and it could be super frustrating going through dead links trying to find a group. Um, my goal with the whole thing, with trying to go through them and figure out which ones worked, was that my concern is that if you scroll down not too far looking for a heathen group in Canada, you run into links that are for non-inclusive groups. Um, and like this is below what was on the Heathenry in Canada Wikipedia page, but not that many links farther down in Google. So the benefit of the Wikipedia was it would pop up right at the top. Um, so far I'm not able to create something that will pop up on the top because I don't have enough views, but I do have my list of inclusive heathen groups. I went through all the groups on there, went through all their web pages and stuff, found the ones that were inclusive, and compiled them into a list. On top of that, I went through anyone who had signed on to the Pagan De Declaration or the Declaration of Deeds with their location, tried to find out if they had links to their stuff as well, added them on there as well. Um, very few groups that were originally on the list did not make it onto my list for reasons of um, not being inclusive. I'd say there was about two. I do have a few that are sort of in limbo there on a master list that are not on my blog, and the reason why is they either like, I have their name, but I don't have a link to their group for anybody. Um, or they're, there's just, they're not stating one way or the other anywhere that I check whether they're inclusive or not. So, erring on the side of caution, they're on a list. If they contact me, say, hey, I'm inclusive, I'll add you to the list. This is somewhat of an honor system because... I don't have a way of policing everybody in all of Canada. Um, so there's only about two that I definitely red flagged as not being inclusive. They're not on my list. 
You're also welcome if you start a group that's inclusive or if your group isn't on there because it wasn't on any of the lists that I found anywhere from other places. If you have a group, we'd love to hear from you. There's a bunch of different regions. The Maritimes is one of them in particular that doesn't have any information from what I understand from people in the Maritimes. There are are heathens, but they don't practice as groups. Um, their group practice is more with the broader pagan community at this time. Um, I don't have anything for anyone in the north, if there is anyone out there. Um, I have very few for BC, even though I know that the Freehold is out there, and really, I, it's just the Freehold that I have linked to, and I believe maybe one other kindred in BC so you guys if uh, if you have any kindreds or any groups that you want added please contact me the best way to contact me is by my email um, which can either be found below or on my blog and I'll just state it here for you as well that my Email is hearthsidecommunity, all is one word, at gmail.com. Um, that's the one I use for my blog. I don't check it super, super frequently, but like, I will get back to you eventually and add you to the list. Um, I'm not going to ignore you unless I like you send me a link and I check it out and you have like some definite red flags. There's no reason that I'm not going to add you to this list. Um... Yeah, I'm just trying to make it so that this content's out there um, and possible for people to find. So yeah, I don't want to make a video where I'm listing all the groups that are inclusive and the reason why is um, it's going to change over time. Not because I think their inclusivity is going to change, but because heathen groups will be run for some time and then the organizers will step back and nobody wants to take up that mantle basically so then they fall apart so over time the who is on the list is going to shift um if you find someone on the list and their links are no longer working please let me know i'm checking back but not super frequently um i know some of the facebook groups are slow to respond in various areas. I believe some of the ones in Alberta I've heard are slow to respond and I've been waiting to hear back more information from people who've been checking out those ones. Um, but yeah, it's just a matter of how many people there are in whatever groups in whatever regions who have the time and resources to put towards those responses, etc. So, uh, Everything is pretty small and grassroots, and that's where we're at. We're at. Um, but yeah, definitely check out all the links if you have more to add. Email me, and uh, if you want to reach my complaints department, I don't have one, so uh, that sucks. But there's only, like I said, like two people who are not on, or two groups that are not on there because they're very obviously not inclusive groups. The other ones I all have on a list if you were originally on the Wikipedia page um, and I don't have links for you guys so um, if you are one of those groups, if you remember that you were on the Facebook page but you didn't have a link shoot me an email I am glad to add you to the list. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, the list of inclusive heathen groups in Canada, I will link below and give it a look, uh, add your content, and hopefully it's helpful. Um, but as I say, I'm not policing this super close, um, so it's partly an honor system. Everybody who's on this list has stated that they are inclusive in some way, either on their website, their page, or on one of the declarations. But it's always good if you are not familiar with a group to meet them in public, just to be safe. And yeah, just 
exercise the appropriate amount of caution that you would when you're meeting any person for the first time. All right, that's it. And thank you for tuning in. I hope you check out some of my other content and I hope that you find this list helpful for you. Bye.